Well, the Warriors finally made it back home to their spiritual home base, Mount Smart Stadium. So I thought it was about time that I told you about my first visit to Mount Smart Stadium. <laughs> G'day guys, Rue here. Well, it's been a long and punishing season, season 22 for the Warriors, um, but there were there was some genuine highlights and that was, of course, the team being able to return back to the spiritual home of Mount Smart Stadium and play four home games there for the first time in three seasons and great for the players and the fans as well to be able to um, see their families again play in front of their friends and families and for the long-suffering New Zealand fans to be able to have the team back got me thinking about uh, my first visit to Mount Smart Stadium. Um, it was uh, the back end of 2003, we'd had a really good year. Uh, we just lost to Penrith in the prelim finals. So I thought no better time um, to get over to Mount Smart Stadium for the first time. And I looked at the draw for 2004 and round one was in Brisbane, which I was obviously going to. Then round two and three were at home against St George and Penrith. So I booked my flights, got over to New Zealand and I um, was getting ready for game day and I was asking around like, what's the best way to get out to Mount Smart Stadium? I've never been to New Zealand, never been to Auckland. So um, yeah, I, I asked around and everyone said, oh, you can get a train or a bus, which is weird because um, Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, like it's really easy to get there. There's a lot of shuttle buses from the major shopping centers and you can also get the train. Um, so I ended up getting the train for the first game and um, got out to the stadium, well, sorry, got out to the train station. And I was like, okay, now what? So the stadium wasn't sort of obviously right there. So I went for a bit of a walk. I followed another fan that had gotten off the, off the train and he was walking along the train line. So I kind of followed him and came across this big sort of industrial area. And yeah, it's not a, it's not a really obvious place, as I said, to have a stadium. So I followed that um, and then saw the sign, sort of the Mount Smart Stadium and then saw the floodlights. Okay, this must be, this must be the right place. Um, and yeah, I, I walked past the practice fields and then, you know, to the ticket box, bought my tickets. And funnily enough, I was sitting directly behind the players like, that weren't playing in that game. I was sitting right behind PJ Marsh. And as you remember, back in those times, he was still recovering from that horrible um, spinal injury that he, that he had gotten in 2003. And I remember sitting right behind him and I could see the scar on the top of the back of his neck. And yeah, it looked pretty nasty. And, um, yeah, I remember messaging my dad back in Australia and saying, oh, I'm sitting right behind PJ Marsh. And my dad uh, says, oh, give him a thick ear, which is very typical of something my dad would say. Um, yeah, so I remember seeing another bloke uh, walking up the stairs, bloke with a great sort of mane of orange hair, huge, great big young fella, and he flashed this grin of like gold teeth. I was like, who is this bloke? He is enormous. We all know who that turned out to be. Yeah a very young Manu Vadave who went, to, went on to make his debut later that 2004 season. Um, anyway, yeah, so yeah, there was a, f a few of the other young players sitting around there um, who I didn't know at the time, but um, came to know because someone gave me, gave me one of those Warriors uh, sort of Facebooks, uh, player profile books anyway. And the match was against St George and we'd gotten out to a 10-0 lead, tries to Farfili and Francis Melli, but Ended up getting run, run down and lost 16-10, um, which was a common theme that year because in round one, we, we led 10-0. Round two, we led 10-0 and lost. Even the trial game that I went to at the Gold Coast before that against Parramatta, we'd led 10-0 and lost. Anyway, yeah, so I, I sat next to a lovely family though, a guy by the name of Mike. Um, I sat with him and his family and they, um, they gave me a lift back to Auckland to the hotel where I was staying because obviously I had no idea where I was going. So it was really nice of them. And they said, are you coming to the game next week? And I said, yeah, definitely. So try and get the same seat so we can sit together again. So, so that's what I did. So during the week, I, I went and said, look, can I, can I get the same ticket again? And luckily I could and went back um, for the round three game against Penrith. Um, and yeah, Penrith were obviously the reigning premiers that year. Um, they had won the, won the competition in 2003. So it was shaping up to be a really good contest. Um, it was a Sunday afternoon game this time, so um, 
I jumped on the bus so to see how what it was like to get the bus out to the stadium and um, yeah once again I had to follow other fans just to make sure I knew where I was going but um, yeah got out to the stadium and got my seats and sat in the same same section which was like the corner off the um, east stand I believe and uh, um, so again sat next to my with his family and watched the game and it was unfortunately Penrith were way too strong they just came out and destroyed us that afternoon Amos Roberts scored four tries we didn't have an answer on the positive side it was Louis Anderson's debut for the club um, and he actually got a try we did lead 10-6 at one point so something about the Warriors getting 10 10 point leads and they're not going on with the job it's yeah, definitely something that's plagued us um, but yeah I just remember sitting there and looking around the stadium and my, my impressions of the stadium was like oh, it's, it's so different to be there like on TV it looks really big but yeah when you're actually in the stadium it just it just looks so different I think that's that's like anything it's you, you have a sort of expectation of what it's going to be like and then it turns out to be not quite like that but it, it was it was an awesome experience despite the two losses fantastic experience to, to actually go there and this is before the the other stand had been completed so it was it, they, there was only sort of one main grandstand when I was there um, but yeah thoroughly enjoyable experience really enjoyed uh, meeting Mike and his family and I have lost touch with him um, a guy by the name of Mike Noonan if anyone knows him and can put me put me in touch with him yeah just comment let me know I'd love to I'd love to be able to catch up with him again because the last few times I've been to New Zealand haven't been able to haven't been able to find him so yeah if you know comment below I'd love to get in touch with him um, so if any of you guys are thinking geez I'd love to go to Warriors home game um, well you can you know just just do what I did and just get yourself over to NZ particularly you Aussie based guys get to Auckland and um, jump on the train, find your way out there like I did. It's not that hard. Um, and go and experience a, a, a real Warriors home game. Um, I've been to five home games in total over there. Uh, I have for four losses and finally I had a win. The Simon Mannering 300th game in 2018. I, I went over there for that. Uh, fantastic occasion, full house. And... Yeah, finally got to experience a win at home and the place went off and that's what everyone had been telling me it's really like at Mount Smart Stadium so awesome to experience that and guys don't miss out so yeah as I said you guys from Australia you fans over here it's it's not too hard get over there for a game in 2023 um, yeah it's it's no better feeling than to be sitting in, in a stadium full of home fans as I said so enjoy the experience and soak it in all right, guys, I will catch you next time. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and comment below the first time that you remember going to Mount Smart Stadium. Or if you haven't been, tell me when you are going to go. Um, comment below, join the conversation. That's what this is all about. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Roo Remembers. Cheers, guys. Take care.